Well, just 18 days now until voters go to the polls and just about every political analyst we seem to talk to expects Republicans to recapture the House. So how will President Obama's agenda be affected if, in fact, they're right? Here to discuss that is Ken Duberstein. He served as White House Chief of Staff under President Reagan, and he actually endorsed Barack Obama back in 2008. Right. The past two years, though, he has been disappointed in his presidency so far. Why? Well, you know, I thought he was going to be a transformational president. I thought he was going to be able uh, to, in fact, get this country going again. Uh, what we have seen is too much spending, too much government, too many priorities. He was elected to fix the economy, to uh, make sure that unemployment was descending, not continuing at, you know, nine and a half, ten percent rates. We have now had 14 consecutive months where unemployment has been over nine and a half percent, and the last time that happened was during the Great Depression. We have spent trillions of dollars, and yet the government hasn't been able to create the policies so that the private sector will start investing in jobs. That has to be at the doorstep of not only President Obama, but of the Liberal Democratic Congress and the uh, Senate under Harry Reid. What I have suggested all along is that you need to, in fact, bring everybody together. Right. And if, if with a Republican uh, House of Representatives, I think it will be less difficult for President Obama if he shows the leadership. How would that to bring people together, though, to question. have um, uh, you know a party not of his own in, in the majority control? Well, I think you know you have to build coalitions, and the answer is you, uh, compromise is not a four-letter word. But the president has to take the lead on deficit reduction. He has a deficit commission reporting early in December. I think the president has to take a lead on. Uh, trade and the free mm -hmm. trade agreements on education reform. I think there are a whole host of issues that if the president takes a lead, he will find willing partners in Congress, even on the Republican side, if they're in on the launch and not just right. on the landing, well, to bring them in early as President Reagan did in his uh, administration. Well, when you were chief of staff uh, in that administration, I mean, that was coming off of uh, troubles in the market, right, back in 87, and it, it doesn't right. just happen in a two-year period, right, or one year where you shake it off. I mean, what's the recommendation that you would give to the president if, in fact, beyond working together, um, the Republicans do take control uh, of the House? I mean, what he can get done at this point? I, I think several things can get done, but he has to demonstrate that he really understands the art of governing and reaching out rather than the art of campaigning, which is just demolishing and demonizing people. I think he can get something significant done on deficit reduction, mm -hmm. I think on spending control, on the free trade agreements like in South Korea. I think he can work with the Congress on education reform. But I think he, you know, the ideas of cap and trade and some of the other major issues that he's pushed right. in his first two years are, are dead in the water. But he needs to figure out those key issues and the American people are focused on deficit reduction, holding down the federal debt in order to drive private sector jobs and private sector employment. How he needs to focus on that. How do you think that, um, you know, the servicing of the Tea Party movement has changed, not just the election, but these efforts, these potential efforts you're talking about, ideologically or sentiment-wise? Uh, I think in the next Congress, where there are, will certainly be some Tea Party members in the House and the Senate, that they are really focused on deficit reduction. If anything, they will want to go further than, than uh, may be politically possible to do. But having that pressure mm -hmm. will drive people in these first six months of a second two-year period of Obama toward more deficit reduction. And that, in fact, I think it will help the markets mm -hmm. and help on, on the employment uh, scene. All right. Uh, well, we would love to have you back on to talk about uh, the relationship of the business community in the White House and potential Capitol Hill. But we unfortunately have to bring it, leave it there. Thank you so much for your time today.